Hello guys, in this part I'm going to show you two of the most important MALA functions that we're going to use every day. So let's generate some calculations. I'm just going to do some random ones. And then x equals. You can use different values. All right, I have done some calculations here and Sometimes you will need more space, right? Because after doing these calculations and even more, it's going to be jammed with information. It's not very easy to read things. One of the functions that I'm going to introduce to you is called home. The home function, if you hit enter, you will see that it will provide you with some additional information while preserving the previous calculations here. Therefore, whenever you need empty a space to do more calculations while you need to keep the previous calculations also the best way to do it is through home function the home function will bring some new space another thing that actually we use a lot is clc what does clc do is that unlike the home that keeps the previous information and calculation for you it's going to wipe everything out so if i type CLC and hit enter, you will notice that there's nothing left in command window. But if that happens to you, don't freak out because you do have the command history and all the calculations. You can go through it and hit enter. So the calculation is done and performed for you. One more thing that I would like to show you today is that, as you remember, the today test script that we created and it contained two calculations with it. If you decided to work on it later, the only thing you need to do is to double click on it and it will bring the window, the editor window, and you can add things to it as well. So y equals six, then calculate x multiplied by y, and also y minus x. You save it again and run. If you come back here, you'll see that uh, the today's test is run and everything is here. I would like to show you another way to do it as well. So let's do CLC, which clears everything. If you want to run a program that you saved here, you can simply type its name. So if I say today, underline, test, and pay attention to capital letters because they do make difference. So if you type it, the name, and hit enter, you will see that it's automatically run. It's a very, very handy way to do it. And I want to make sure that you learn the shortcuts as well. Hope you enjoyed this session and I will see you next video.